what's going on you guys welcome back to another team mom og which came on mtv tonight monday january the 7th and this is called team mom og backstage pass this is pretty much just everything that leads up to the moms and the dads going on stage for the reunion and so I was only able to catch about 35 minutes of this, which is pretty much the second half of this show. But I promise you, you didn't miss much because all they were doing was talking about everything that we've seen throughout the season. So I'm just kind of going to kind of um quickly skim through everything that um that we missed on the episodes. And so it starts off with Cheyenne while she's in hair and makeup right before the reunion. She's talking with um, Amber. Well, it doesn't start off with that. Like I say, I'm just going to give you bits and pieces of certain things. So she's talking with Amber and they're just pretty much talking about relationships and commitments. And then they go to Gary. Now it's Gary's birthday. And so production presented him with a surprise birthday cake and all of the dads met up and they were engaging in conversations about baby mamas, relationships, co-parenting and marriage. And then Tyler explains to Corey what it means to go on a 30 day separation. The funniest part of this conversation is when Corey asks Tyler so is it just separation or do you get a hall pass or and Tyler is like dying laughing explaining to him nope it's not gonna be none of that going on I'm just going on a 30 day like <laughs> just time to myself moment to to gather my thoughts and just get just just figure out who I am as a person like just Tyler like and then she'll be working on herself we'll still be married and committed to one another so this just goes to show that Corey's mind is always in the gutter and then as Corey and Cheyenne they're backstage they're getting ready and Corey he's clowning around he picks this artificial flower from the bouquet on the table and gives it to Cheyenne like he's proposing to her and she's like boy if you don't get out of my face with that thing and um, it just seems like that the way Corey plays around a lot and he puts on a lot for the cameras, you can't really tell when he's being sincere because he can also be a little player too now. I mean, they probably, that's why they, it's like, that's why they so much, they don't get along in a way because they're so much alike. It's like both of them try to play one another's intelligence or whatever. And so, um. I don't know if I ever see them being in a committed relationship, but they'll probably always have this type of relationship. And, you know, as long as they can work it out good, as far as the co-parenting for Ryder, that, that's all that matters, even if they don't never be together. But I kind of also think that if Cheyenne wants to be serious with Corey, she's not going to take Corey serious until he really starts to show her that he's serious about being with her because every time I see him, I don't know if he's just putting on for the cameras. He's, he's playing a lot. He's playing like you don't know when to take him serious or not. At least I don't. So Brista and Dakota, they were joking around before they went on stage and he asked her if she's going to drop kick him because, you know, she's doing a, um, karate classes and everything. And, um, <laughs> So while they only were out, and then the producer, they was like, you're going to, you're going to drop kick them high. And she was like, yeah, I'm going to beat them up before we go on stage. You know, they were just clowning around like that. So it's good to know that they can get along and stuff before they head out. Um, Dakota, he asked Bristol, um, he was like, so we're cool, huh? Everything cool with us. We're going to start off fresh. Everything in the past is in the past. And we're just going to, you know, start off fresh. So they shook on it. She was like, yeah, we cool. We cool. And so they shook on it, doing their own little handshake that they came up with, I guess. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that was it. And what else did they show? And then they also showed Macy. 
Macy, she was talking about Ryan, as usual. And like I say, it's, it wasn't much that we missed on this episode, if you didn't watch it. Because all they were doing was just kind of backtracking everything that they showed during the episode. But I do know when it first came on, Amber was talking to production. They asked her, like, um, so you're still planning on leaving the show? Which makes me think, now we've seen on the reunion that she brought it up. Like if that was her first time, you know, like that was, you know, that like it had just freshly came to her mind that she just want to leave. But on Backstage Pass episode tonight, they asked her, they say, so, you know, so they had already talked to her. So it's like she had to go on stage and make a scene. See, that's what I was saying. Like, you just never know what's going on when the cameras are off. And I'm glad they set it up like this. So they already knew that she had threatened to leave the show. Because apparently they had already talked about it because they asked her that. Like, right before she went on stage for her um for her segment of the reunion. Yeah, so... That was pretty much how the episode came to an end. Like I say, they didn't show much at all. All the guys were meeting up at the back for Gary's party. That was good. Dakota looked like he had like, <laughs> like he had some drinks in his system. But it was good to see Dakota in this light. Like for once, he just seemed like he was unwind with the fellas laughing and talking and clowning. And it's like he, uh, like he really likes Corey because they had their hands around, they had their arms around each other's shoulder. It was just good to see this. I like to see the guys in this setting, and they just, they just chilling. That's all. They it's no stress and everything. And they talk about the baby mamas and how it has to be dealing with the women and stuff. And um, Dakota, he's just trying to tell Corey how to be like, like he can be Corey's big brother. So they probably going to have a, a relationship outside of this taping. You know, I could see that happening between those two. I could see Dakota playing a big brother, big brother role to, um, to Corey. Also, Gary mentioned about his dad and Dakota brought up that he was adopted. And I never knew that. So that what I was looking forward to seeing things that we hadn't heard already. It wasn't too, too much that they covered. That we hadn't already seen throughout the season. So and that's why I had to make this um recording short because it wasn't too much and I don't want to ramble. But yeah, Dakota mentioned that he was adopted and that um if his father coming to his life, he's he's willing to um, you know, to accept him on open arms and an open heart. And that's what I like about Dakota, because you would you would think that he'll be, you know, like close minded to the fact that his dad wants to have a relationship with him, although he hadn't been there. But, you know, he didn't feel that way. He said that he's open to having a relationship with his dad. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this recap for this season finale. Also, stay tuned for future Team Mom recaps. Now, also be doing recaps for Siesta Keys as well. They should be coming on, I think, on January 22nd. They'll be coming back on. And Team Mom 2 should be premiering next Monday. And so, again, if you all enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I hope I didn't forget anything. <laughs>